Hello guys, I'm going to be showing you all the tips and tricks in Rolex Wish. You can get all the money, EXP, and everything you want, including best area as well. Let's get right into it. Is it pink? No! Tip number one, use the Aurora totem to your advantage. You can either use it for your best area, or use it grinding money, like me, 6 million. Place down your crab cages during Aurora and that's it. You can earn quite a lot of sea mines and earn lots of money, just like me, 6 million. Or just run your best area. Like if there's anything that you're missing, like I'm just missing the serpent, go farm for that. Unlock your best area. Tip number two is uh, appraise when there's a shiny surge or like sparkling chance increase. You can get a higher chance of getting shiny or sparkling with those world events. Same goes for uh, mutation surge. You can appraise and our chance for you to get a mutation. You should do that for basically all your fishes, like your mythics, and you can earn quite a lot of money. Tip number three, uh, take the fish preferences to your advantage. Like I'm at sunstone right now, if I need like, a vault fish, just know what it prefers. Like hey, it's super flicks, weather is rainy, time is night, take that to your advantage. Um, Try to fish it up when it's in its preferred weather or like the time or just use the preferred bait and you get a higher chance to get the fish makes your life much easier and even though if you don't have like it unlocked there's a spreadsheet link in the description basically it shows you all the preferences and everything pretty much tip number four don't use bait uh, it's not really that worth it like i have a bunch of bait here i don't really use it though uh, it's kind of a hassle to get bait, and you're gonna be fishing quite a lot, like me, like 21,000 fishes got. Using bait is gonna be like a hassle, it's gonna let you down a lot. It's best just to fish without bait, just use your rods, raw stats, and it's pretty much good enough. Tip number five is conception punches. They're these little things, and they can basically go back to your spawn. Like if you set a spawn at sunstone, use the conception conch. You'll come back to Sunstone. Me, I set my spawn in the Desolate Deep. So once I use Conception Conch, I get teleported back to the Desolate Deep. Just like shown as here. But you need to set your spawn first and then you can do it. You can also buy Conception Conch at the Desolate Deep right here. 444 each. It's pretty useful. Tip number six no way you're fishing. For example, there's a small here, okay, it's bandit fish, cock two squid, there's even a frightful pool event right there. You can get a bunch of event fish over there. Uh, you can also fish at whirlpools, they can give you ice nades, pretty good money. About like 8,000 per fish. If you get like mythic trade or Atlantean trade on it, it could be worth about 20k to 30k. Really good spots for farming, just know where you're farming. It includes deep ocean as well, you can get the colossal squid. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Right. For my final tip, you can earn a lot of EXP from crab cages. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm level 100. You can get level 100 really easily from crab cages. Recommended farm down at the desolate deep. Once you get like one seed mine, it's gonna be at least like 8,000 XP with the two times XP game pass. It's gonna be a quite slow when you don't have the game pass, but that's okay. You'll eventually get it anyway. Seed mines also sell for quite a lot of money as well. See, 8,000 XP. Uh, let me just get a seed mine. Sell one of these. And two kilos and they give you quite a lot of money like we're just gonna only sell one of this oh wait no normal one 257 so that's 7530 it's quite a lot you can earn a lot of money from this well wow. that's about it see you next time